Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron. A few years ago, before he died, Dave Hunt um, wrote a book, kind of a rejoinder with uh, White on predestination or not. And they would write back and forth. You know, James White would come up with, and he's still a huge presence in publishing and especially on YouTube, with why you should believe in predestination. Dave Hunt would say why you should not. And uh, maybe some common ground there too, as far as predestination referring to groups of people and this type of stuff. Now, Tim LaHaye, who wrote the Left Behind series, wife Beverly LaHaye, you know, Concerned Women for America, two of the most influential evangelicals in the world said this may well be the most important book written in the 21st century. So Calvinism's misrepresentation of God. So if you want to study, and I still get uh, Hunt's passed away, but I still get his Berean Call newsletter, even though we would have vast theological differences, I still get a lot of information, a lot of great information from it, because we'd have some commonalities on the subjects of holiness and stuff. But if you want, like, one of the most comprehensive books out, it's about 436 pages, on, in, in a massive bibliography, uh, that's against Calvinism, this would be your book. Now, in his Seduction of Christianity, I think it is, or Whatever Happened to Heaven, one of those two, he's got one of the best, like, 20-something page refutations of Calvinism that you can get succinctly. But this is a massive tour de force. And so Chuck Smith, Calvary, Chabernacle, uh, uh, Calvary Chapel, excuse me, Elmer Towns, Dean of School of Religion at Liberty, William McDonald, who did the Believer's Bible Commentary, authored more than 80 books, Chuck Missler, who just recently passed away, this is uh, August of 218, founder of Koinonia House, what a genius he was, I've had a chance to meet he and Nancy, um, Arno Frazee, Joseph Chambers, Bob Wilkin, Grace Evangelical Society, um, all recommend this. So, again, right now, I'll just show you what's in here. The Presbyterians kind of own the field. Even the head of the Southern Baptist Seminary in Louisville, Moeller, who's so popular, I think he's a Calvinist. And so in theology, it's just kind of a fait accompli that almost all eminent theologians in the evangelical world are almost all Presbyterian. And so this would just kind of be like a pushback. And uh, I think even if you're a Presbyterian, if you're a Calvinist, if you whatever believe in superlapsarianism, infralapsarianism, sublapsarianism, whatever form of Calvinism you believe in, that uh, this would be a good book for you to read to at least see the other side. And, uh, you know, Jacob Arminius, and I've got him sitting over here somewhere to do a review on his book. So, great book, you know, even if you disagree with it, you at least get a perspective. Put out by Loyal Publishing, which is kind of interesting, faithful to the word. So, Sisters Oregon, he, he's based out of Bend, Oregon, or was. So, God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.